Howdy, everybody. Once again, we are coming to you. Man, from somewhere in the middle of nowhere. And, uh, yeah, we're going to do something very cool today. I've been wanting to try for a long, long time. Y'all can see behind me. And the shooting lane goes on forever. Let's try and get y'all a look at what we're going to do. So, way down there, 200 yards. We got a 10 inch plate out there. And uh, we're going to try and hit it. And we're going to do this using our Remington 597. And uh, we're going to hope that this Wrighton X3 Conquer is going to be able to get us out there. And then, of course, we're going to be using our SK Standard Plus, boy. And uh, so, wow, guys. I don't know why I'm nervous. All you got to do is dial and shoot. <laughs> right? Right. Yeah, let's get y'all set up, and, uh, man, we'll see what happens. I'm excited. <laughs> well, it looks like we're ready to do this. Uh, I said there ain't much left to do besides get this magazine and this rifle and go. Huh, that's kind of weird. That hasn't happened in a long time. Ran the whole mag. Anyways, enough about that. Uh, man, let's do this. So, I guess what we need to do first, get our magazine in there, get one chambered up, and what we're going to do is I'm just going to dial this to six mils elevation and we're going to see what happens. One, two, three. Four, five, and that is one full rotation on these turrets. It looks like for some reason I've already got about five clicks left windage. It is kind of windy out here. I don't know what any of that's really going to do. We're going to fling one right now and see where it lands. Then we'll try and make some adjustments off of that. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, that was the first hit. First pull, first hit. Holy cow. For some reason, you get all excited, man. You forget what you're doing. You don't put your earplugs in. Wow! So, where did that really land, man? It's almost in the center of the plate. I can't believe it. It's moving. We hit it again. That one's a little low. Got her again. Grooving pretty big down there. <laughs> yeah. I ain't mad. We're on plate, man. That one didn't make it for some reason. So we're still hitting pretty low. So I'm going to come up another four clicks. I'm 
know it, see what happens. There we go, I like that. Wow, guys, this is fun. I guess there's just no reason that we couldn't throw a target out there and shoot it other than I didn't bring a target. This is just effortless. I mean, this is just crazy. I guess I could dial. Looks like we need to come left. About three clicks. No, we need to go right three clicks, sorry. All right, one, two, three. That almost puts us right back at our original zero. Well, something good's going on, guys. Yeah, I think that put us a little too far right. Maybe not. Wow, guys, this is ridiculous. Uh, thank you. Special thanks, man. J Delta 22. Without his support, man, I don't, I wouldn't be doing this right now. This is ridiculous. I didn't think it would be bad. I didn't think it'd be this easy. insane and it looks like we're grouping pretty well too man I and that's it guys we're done Wow, 200 yards, man, I'm excited. Let's go take a closer look, wow. Well, we jumped in the truck, because I ain't walking all the way down there. That's 200 yards. <laughs> man, guys, y'all don't get it. I've been wanting to... I've been wanting to do this ever since I've seen somebody else do it. This is so cool to me. And I know, man, it's a big old 10-inch target down there. I do have an 8-inch at the house. I thought about bringing it. I thought, man, you know, on your on your first time attempting a 200-yard shot, just get your big target, man, and just bring it out here. And you'll be able to prove a point. I didn't bring a tape measure to measure any kind of groups or anything. But, uh, man, guys, I'm just happy to... I got them all except one on that plate. So 
Well, yep, I'm excited. And look at that. How cool, man. And sometimes it's just the little things in life. Well, that's pretty cool, man. Look at this. We got all our little leftovers. Little pieces of 22 laying right there on the ground all flat. <laughs> Uh, that's what they look like, 200 yards. Well, how cool is that, man? All right. Y'all guys don't get it how jazzed I am about this. See, we were kind of shooting low, and we were over here. And then we moved over, and for some reason I shot one way up there. And then they started working themselves back to the center, I think. I don't know, I, I'm going to love seeing this footage, man. That's going to make me happy. <laughs> yeah. All right, man. What do y'all think about that? I think that's pretty cool, if I do say so myself, man. Wow. All the way back to the shooting bench, boy. I'm sorry, guys. Look at that, man. 200 yards. <laughs> I wonder how many other people have done that with a Remington 597. <laughs> I'm sure it ain't unheard of, man. And <clears throat> yeah, and guys, that just goes to show, man, you get a good enough piece of glass on your rifle, you can do it too. Well, I promise you that. That didn't that was effortless. You know, man, I asked a question, I was like, hey, man, how many mils? And I've seen it on, you know, man, I've watched 100 videos of dudes shooting 200 yards. And, uh, you know, man, six mils. And you know, we got on, man, we got a hit first pull. And I don't know what happened with that third one or what, third or fourth, whatever shot it was. We, we did hit one low. It did not contact, so... We got 19 hits on plate at 200 yards with a Remington 597 and some SK Standard Plus, and that made my day. Guys, none of this would be possible without y'all. We love you all. We appreciate you all. We hope y'all are having a great day, and we will see y'all soon. Bye, y'all.